what makes a woman sexy is her confidence like you could be wearing the most crustiest outfit ever but the way you walk in people want to be like you people want to wish what you wear who forced you you don't have to you get to do that because you literally put yourself in the position that you wanted to do those things so now do it because you get to do it like hello and then you're degrading your own value just sit on that for a second yeah. Hello beautiful people. How are you all doing today? I'm feeling just a little mature today because we're going to be talking about 10 ways to level up in your 20s. Your girl is reaching her mid 20s so she's feeling a little bit um mature. <laughs> So I just want to get on here and share, you know, the things I'm learning, the things I'm, you know, working through and doing so that we can all level up together here in this kingdom, okay? Alright, so the first one is to stop trying to live somebody else's life, especially with the era of social media. Um, we are so, we have so much access to everybody else's life, what people are doing on a daily basis. And because of that, a lot of us, um, you know, we feel inspired by other people's lives, but their stories, what they're posting on Instagram. And everything like that you know there are vlogs but that can subconsciously get us to want to live like somebody else and we should be trying to live like us like you know um so i think that is a huge thing to learn it's just to focus on yourself focus on what your purpose is something that i'm so glad that god has taught me is that everybody here was made for something we're sent here for a purpose right and the thing that's beautiful about it is that your purpose is actually an answer to somebody's problem your answer is an inspiration to somebody else's life so when you start focusing on why you're here and try to live your own life you'll see that people are going to be inspired by your life like isn't it funny that the people we are so inspired by people we like to watch are people who are just living their best lives according to their own terms you know so if you start doing that for your own self right People are going to be drawn to you, period. As soon as you start living your own life, that's when you start making real impact. And I think that's just a beautiful thing because it doesn't require much to do you. Do you, boo? You feel me? You're here to bring a different perspective to the world. Like, how beautiful is that? Like, no, like, for real. So um, I think that's a huge thing to start practicing in your 20s. And, and if not way earlier because it gets you out of this mindset of oh i need to be like this person you start thinking that you are the leader and you want others to be inspired by you and your own life number two is self-development something that i found is that as i've gained more confidence i've gained more clarity i've gained um you know a more push to do the things i want to do because i'm confident about it and something else for you ladies like what makes a woman sexy is her confidence like you could be wearing the most crustiest outfit Ever. but the way you walk in people want to be like you people want to wish what you wear it okay so confidence is a huge thing i think confidence is so sexy because like you do not need somebody else to validate you like hello like i'm validated by god so as long as i'm confident in what i'm doing i do not care what anybody else is thinking of it because as long as god validated me what do i need from you again what do i need something else has to do with self-development is facing your issues this is actually a really big one because i feel like a lot of us as we grow we think that the things that affected us when we were young are no longer important because you know we're growing we're becoming adults but the thing about it is is that if you do not face those issues that were in your past you're actually going to continue living them out in bigger ways because you're going to have more important things to do as you grow up and so, so a little testament for me about facing my issues just happened recently actually um so i had like a breakout all over my skin on my chest and my face and it left me a bunch of scars and because of that like that punctured my self-confidence and this is i never really have been you know self-conscious about my skin before so this was like a whole new avenue for me right um i've always had a little bit acne here and there not to the point where i didn't literally didn't feel confident about showing my skin you know what i mean and that was really hard for me and because of that i started i found myself trying to do less the things i used to do because i wanted to hide this about myself and i started realizing that like i cannot do that to myself like i will literally stop purpose like i can get to a point where i stop purpose because i'm trying to hide my skin like how no that's not that's not okay i went on social media and i did a reel about this on instagram and this is this that was actually more for me than it was for anybody else because i needed to prove to myself that i am not my skin basically i needed to prove to myself that regardless of what my skin looks like i'm so confident because i am secured in who i am and the person that god has made me not the way i look and thank god that actually like 
because I did that, a lot of other people DM me and commented on my picture and on, on the reel and was so thankful that I did that. After you tell someone about what you're going through, it stops being a you problem and now you feel like you're sharing that burden with someone. You get what I'm saying? So I think a, a great way to sh face your issues is you don't have to be on social media. You don't have to like post the whole world, but you can call someone that you really trust and talk to them about it. So that way you're no longer just, you know, carrying this burden by yourself. And also, you know, who is the best person to talk about your issues? Jesus Christ. Go in the word of God and you know, remind yourself about who you are in Christ and that will also build your confidence. Also, under self-development is to stop saying sorry. Let sorry be an intentional word and that also goes under confidence, believe it or not. When someone says sorry less, like when they don't use that word all the time, people take it seriously when they start using that word. And that's something that's something that I literally started to see even in my career. Like when I do not say sorry in every every two seconds, People literally like, they have confidence in me. It's not like I'm always gonna be sorry every, like I'm not always gonna be sorry about something that I've done because I'm confident in whatever I did was right. Or and even, even if I was wrong, I'm not gonna say sorry. Like I'm gonna say thank you for noticing. You know what I mean? I have a whole video about this. I'll link it up above and link it down below as well. But um, saying sorry only when you need to is like, that will really help your confidence yourself and also help you will portray you all right finally that self-development is done but as you can see there's so much in self-development like we can probably keep going on but i don't want to make this video too long so number three is to forgive people a lack of forgiveness can really affect your future um and we might not even realize it a lot of times when we have this built anger and bitterness in our hearts against other people it actually stops us from doing things that we want to do in our own lives and we don't realize it another person is just out there living their whole life and we're here like holding something against them so i think that is an amazing thing to do in your 20s is to sit yourself down and think about who are some people that you need to forgive and let it go forgive them i'm not saying like you know let them back in the way you used to let them back in but forgive and forget Forgive and forget is super, super important. I would actually link a whole series that I watched by Michael Todd down below in the description box. But I would definitely recommend you guys to watch it. Number four is to understand your finances. This is really important. Budgeting is something that's super important. But not even just budgeting, but like also looking at your finances from a holistic view. Where are you trying to be in 10 years? Where are you trying to be in 20 years? Where are you trying to be when you retire? Are you going to retire? Like these are questions that you need to ask yourself. What about life insurance? What am I going to do? Like, you know, um, something something happens. Like, do you have things like that um, planned and you think about those things? Understanding your finances is super important, especially when you are reaching your 20s because this is when you're starting your professional careers. Maybe this is the time where you're starting to travel. You're starting to do more and more things on your own terms. So um, understanding finances is super, super important. Having a savings plan, super important. If you guys want to talk to me about any of those things, even self-development, I will have a link down below in my description box where you can schedule a 15 minute cons consultation call with me. And I can talk to you guys all about um, what are my tips and what I can do to serve you through that journey. Number five is to pick your battles. Child, this is so important because Sometimes we feel like we need to comment back to everybody that comments on our picture or, you know, answer to the person that just talked to you work disrespectfully or if somebody ran into you, you know, when you went to the grocery store, you have to tell them, excuse me, like, no, you do not pick and choose your battle. It's not everything that you need to put your energy on because it's not worth it. Like when you, when you, um, when you place energy towards something, it means that it's important to you, right? So what do you look like talking back to that person who had no business saying what they just said to you? Like it's a bigger, it makes more sense and it makes a bigger impact when you just ignore the person or you just do not mind what the heck they just said. Because that tells that person that whatever you had to say is not worth my time. Like whatever that person said in the comment sessions, it's not worth your time. That's not why you're here for. So why are you giving that person energy? If somebody owes you money, for example, they owe you $50 and you give it to them. For, it's okay. Let it go. Like, let it go. Because you are saying to that person that, listen, I'm not going to sit here and try to chase you down over $50. Like, it's not that serious. Something I always tell people is like, even myself, when you give to someone, give with the intention of never having that money back. I don't care if it was borrowed money. Like, if you give that person money, 
don't expect it back now if it comes back great right but if it doesn't come back it's okay you're not here for chasing the money because the fact is you are the bar you are the lender and the lender is not out here chasing anybody for their money you feel me so like do not give energy towards things that are not worth your time because when you do you're showing those people or that situation that this is actually worthwhile and you're degrading your own value just sit on that for a second yeah think about the battles that you're currently trying to face right now and ask yourself is this worth it is this worth my time is this degrading my value do i need to be doing this is this focusing on my purpose is this helping me financially is this helping me grow in my self-development is this doing anything for my family if it is not why are you there why are you why are you arguing with people like you're wasting your energy you're wasting your energy like in your 20s there's just so much that you can be doing for yourself so when you focus on things that had nothing to do with your self-development you're just slowing that process down you're you're getting frustrated you're just you're wasting your time like i have nothing to say about it you're wasting your time so it's just not worth it even when it comes to friendships even when it comes to friendship this is so huge even if there's a friend that you know you've been close to for so long all of a sudden they like go behind your back and talk bad about you continue on with your life like continue on learn to like not give energy to things that are not helping your success it's just it's not worth it move on number six is to invest in yourself what are some things that you've always wanted to learn what is a skill that you want to get better at this is the time to invest in yourself there's nothing wrong with spending a 500 on a class that you really really want you know you think that you're gonna get something out of like that is an amazing decision to make i'll link a video above and down below where i talk about the fact that you are your biggest asset so the more that you change and better yourself the more everything around you is going to better like as long as you're the same person you were yesterday you're not going to be able to make the change you want to make tomorrow because you need to be a changed person to handle a changed environment this is how it works so if you don't change the way you think you don't renew your mindset you don't upskill in your in your skills right you're never going to be able to do those things that you see yourself doing because you're not doing it now like whatever you can do now you can do it because that's what you've set you've set yourself up to do and now if you want to do more you have to set yourself up to do those things as well number seven is to wake up early and be disciplined oh my god if i could tell this to like nine year olds i would like this is so big discipline is literally what will stop you from getting to where you need to be because with everything comes consistency and consistency comes under discipline because you can start something and do it for a week oh yeah you lit like you start going to the gym you do you go for a week straight you feel like you got it but you will have to keep going for the next like six seven eight months in order to see change right and that's the part that requires this is because you're not always going to feel like pursuing your goals you're not always going to feel like going to the gym but discipline makes you um, so I think a great way to do that is to wake up early. Um, something that I had on my vision board this year was to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. And that's actually going pretty well. I do not wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning, but I did sign up for a gym and I go to their 5 a.m. classes. So I'm actually up at like 4.45, which is like, okay, girl, okay, girl. But, um, yeah, create and create a way, like set up some systems that will allow you to actually wake up early that will allow you to, um, be disciplined but you have to, it has to be like a, a will inside too like you have to want it for yourself because you can plan however much you want you can do however much like planning that you want to do right but if you do not have an inner will to be disciplined you're not going to be disciplined it allows you to say no to things because when you already have a plan and you have a consistent thing that you do you have a routine if someone asks you to do something outside of that routine you can say no because i had this going on but if you do not have a plan and you never plan right and someone asks you to do something you feel like you have to say yes because you don't have anything planned instead of that thing anyway right and that keeps you in, in a stagnant space so set yourself up for success and create a plan create a routine and you know work at your discipline number eight is to show people that you love that you care about them friends close family family friends I think that it is important to show them that you love them because you don't want to be that person who, um, you know, is have living their best life, which is great though. Living your best life at 20, you're always traveling and then you don't like call anyone and then you reach like your 30s, you have kids and then you're trying to make friends because you need a babysitter. Like 
no <laughs> but honestly though you want to make sure you keep up your your relationships and call people ask them how they are care for them number nine is to get out of that bad relationship you know you have to go but you're still there like for real do not waste your 20s with someone that is going to drag you the opposite way and then you have to make it up in your 30s like it is not worth it. I think that along with relationships, if you're with someone that is not causing you to elevate in your life, why are you with them? Why are you with them? Like, it's just, it's just the realest thing. Like, when you have an intimate relationship with someone, it can actually affect you more than you realize it does because you are steady trying to, you know, make it work, love them the way you're supposed to, but. If the person, if you guys are not complimenting each other in a way that you guys are helping each other reach your goals, um, and be on purpose, and it's really, it's not worth it. And you do not want to stay in that relationship and then have it slow you down. A lot of people actually stay in those relationships because they want to see themselves living like the person that they saw on Instagram that has relationship goals. But the thing is, like, if the per if you're not personally happy, you cannot, you can't live your own life. Like again, you have to live your life. You have to live your life, not somebody else's life. It's going to slow you down if you are in a relationship that you're not supposed to be in. So just get out of it now and start living the life you want to live, you know? All right, and number 10 is to not make any excuses. This is something that I am actively working on every single day. And actually, it actually really helps me. It really, 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 really helps me. To not make excuses. Because when you make excuses, it's like you're telling your subconscious that you are you are you have a reason why you don't want to be better so it's like it's okay like you know i'm tired today and i don't want to do this it's okay oh my gosh it's raining outside so like i just don't feel like it like and then you're okay with your decisions because like you have made a valid excuse to why you're not doing the things that you said you will be doing and it's just it's not helpful something that this is a bonus something that i have started implementing which i might actually do something with this but stay tuned um is to have a i get to mentality instead of i have to mentality because whenever you understand that like you are actually very privileged like we're so privileged the fact that you are on the internet right now you're already privileged like you're already like way 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 more privileged than a lot of people in this world just the fact that you're watching this video that means you have access to the internet privilege thing i'm thankful that i have a job and i get to work, work in the morning i'm thankful that you know i have a house and i get to clean it i'm thankful that i have a youtube channel and i get to talk to people on the channel not that i have to record a video today it's like no i get to record a video today you know i get to do this today um and i think that it really for me it changes my attitude about a lot of things and it makes me actually want to do the things i'm doing because hello nobody forced me to get a camera and get on youtube nobody forced me to work for the job i applied for the job so why am i sitting here now i have to work after this who forced you you don't have to you get to do that because you literally put yourself in the position that you wanted to do those things so now do it because you get to do it like hello like, nobody dragged you to that to that place to interview nobody dragged you so you actually get to do this because you asked for this employment guys we get to we get to um but yeah that's something that has really 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 helped me to just keep going not give up because we got this yes but that is all i have for this video you guys i hope you guys all enjoyed it if you did give me a big like comment down below what was your favorite um way to level up in your 20s um mine was probably number 10 and number five i told you guys i was gonna be good but yeah um let me know what you guys think in the comments and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join the kingdom over here we have so much fun as you guys can tell i drop a lot of diamonds on this channel and i really just want all of us to elevate and grow together um and just be empowered to do the things that god has called us to do because child there's so much to do. There's so much to do. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and share this video for somebody else to be able to watch so that we can all be leveling up together. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!